Hi, this is Mazzy, Mazzalyn T on Instagram, and I'm Emily, and today is something special. I've never done a makeup tutorial in my life. How do you say it? Beat my face up? We're gonna beat her face down. We're gonna, <laughs> gonna, we're gonna give her a do. <laughs> She's gonna do my face and explain how she does it along the way. If you're a guy, you just can appreciate how much effort girls put in every day. If you're a girl, maybe you can pick up on a few little tricks. I always start with eyebrows, that's just me. We're gonna start with this. This is a this is called Brow Stylist Designer. Emily has very light eyebrows, so we don't want to go in too harsh. I'm just gonna lightly feather them in. Elongate the tail a little longer. So we have the Duffy look, that's what I like to call it, when girls have their eyebrows pointed well. It does feel pretty calming when you have your makeup done by somebody. Yeah, it's so nice. It's like, mm. Same thing with like your hair played with, it's like totally mm -hmm. the same. With me. <laughs> Welcome to our world. Does this eyebrow give you struggles too? Yeah. Really? This one? Uh huh. This, this one's always easy. To that's do. how mine is. I have a good one and I have a bad one. The eyebrows are so like they're sisters, not twins. Hmm. They have their own character. This one's naughty. So this is our eyebrow look for today. You know, a little more bold than usual, friendly. Now we're gonna prime her lids. I like to prime with the concealer. You can use a, like a matte paint pot, but I think that's kind of like not always necessary. Close your eyes. There's all sorts of, you can buy a primer for everything. There's like a lip primer. I don't really like believe in all that. You can use a chapstick for lip primer. We're gonna set it with this Kiko. Go, it's like a translucent powder, but it's like has a little bit of a tint to it. This is the AG Wine by Maybelline. Everyone knows this, so I don't even have to talk about this. We're jumping in the eyes. So we're gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's a collab with Morphe. This palette has been talked about so much on YouTube. This palette I think is amazing. She worked for this like for this palette like two years. I think this palette's great. The pigment's great. It's better than Morphe's usual. Morphe's good, but this palette's amazing. We're gonna be going in with the translucent. I'm using these two combined. Just gonna be putting this in the crease. I'm using a, an M330 by Morphe. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this next color. So I'm gonna be using this one. Now we have our transition. Those were our transition colors. I used three. So now what we're gonna go in with is this shade. I think it's called Hunt. This one right here, it's a cute little orangey toned one. We have to go in very lightly with this one because it's very pigmented. Even that, I'm like, oh, like it's scary how like much pigment will come out of these. You have to be careful. I probably want to use a smaller definer brush for this. And it has very small eyelids, so that brush just wasn't doing it. We are using the glitter glue by Too Faced. It's very good. I like it. I recommend. It's a glue you put down before you put the glitter, so it like shines brighter. You know. Okay. We're going in with this shade right here. I really like this shade. It's probably one of my favorite shimmers out of the palette. The pigment on them are good, especially because we put down the glitter glue, but like, it's not, I'm gonna use my finger, it's easier. It's not performing to its fullest, so I might even have to wet it. Another trick, if your glitter isn't coming out well, either wet it with a Matte Fix Plus, any setting spray, or water. Like, that's a little tricky for you guys. So now we're gonna do the next one. This blue part stresses me out because this is like the outline of it. So we're gonna be going back in with that um, Hunt shade. I'll show you again. 
Um, I'm just gonna fix her crease <coughs> a little, make it blend together, so it's a seamless. Oh yeah, baby, fix, fix my crease. Transition. <laughs> no crease, and then also the line where like you know where the glitter and the eyeshadow meet. And now what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna go in one more time with the shade, just making sure transition is seamless. We're gonna move on to the rest of her face. We're gonna do her under eye. I don't think we're gonna, you know, not do that. We're just gonna do her face makeup and eye makeup, you know, concealer first. Emily doesn't really need foundation, so what we're basically gonna do, she doesn't need foundation. We can prime it with this. This is the Milani Make It Last. This can be used as a primer, corrector, and setter. So let's prime you a little bit. We're gonna go straight in with this, um, this translucent powder, but first, we're gonna go in with her under eye stuff. And let's mix it up. I'm gonna use this under your eyes. Okay. Oh, by the way, this is called Tresicue. Tresicue? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Tresic? Tresic? I don't know. That's a little like thing. This I got off of Ipsy. I have an Ipsy. Basically, you get um, makeup every month, like, you know, new makeup. So they just send you random stuff. You fill out a little survey. And it actually, I got a lot of this stuff I, is like from there. Not is it good? Is it worth it? I think it's worth it. It's only $10 and you get five products a month. But they're like small size, like this size, this size. It's I got this that, brush. This would last me like 10 years. Yeah, though. exactly. So much I think it's worth it. Like, you find some good products there. I think it's totally worth it. It's only 10 bucks a month and you get like five new things. It's super exciting. You get like, Sign me up. This was not a paid endorsement this, either, by no, the way. No, this is not. This is a blender sponge, beauty blender. This one's a little oversized. This is in Buy Beauty Blender. Just so you know, you are supposed to get this thing wet before you use it. Yeah, Emily's over here with a dry <laughs> beauty blender not knowing what's going on. Like, oh yeah, like, oh, use this, right? I'm like, <laughs> nobody you said it. that I should get it wet. Yeah, it should be damp. It shouldn't be like soaked, but like it's damp. Like nothing's ringing out of it. So don't use it like so. So now we're gonna go in, we're gonna set her under eyes and stuff. This is the Laura Mercier powder. I put it in a different container because that container is huge, takes up too much room. And we're gonna go in with a beauty blender and just place it. This is called baking. Around five minutes is how long we leave it on for. And once you wipe it off, it gives it more finished look. We're gonna be using this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour. I had never tried this, so I came over to Emily. It's actually very good. Okay, the highlight side's kind of crappy, but this is sensational. This is a great, it's like gray tone to where if you're light, it doesn't look muddy on you. I think it's a really good contour. Now we're gonna kind of go around the perimeter of her face and just dust a little. This makes your forehead look smaller. I do this every day. <laughs> now we're gonna dust off the bakage. We're gonna use this Kiko. We're gonna use it to dust it off and basically it's, this is gonna act as like a face powder for her because she doesn't really need foundation or anything. Now it is all brushed away. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna contour her nose. I like to call this snatching. I'm gonna snatch her nose. So we're gonna take the contour shade and basically start from where her eyebrows are and go all the way down her nose. And go under right here. One thing about this contour, it's very good, but you have to like layer it kind of. Like you have to go in a couple times. It's like very light, which is good, it's buildable. I always like throw a little blush on because you know, it adds some color to her face. This is the Balm Cosmetics. I also got this on Ipsy. The shade is in full swing. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit. I got this brush on Ipsy too. Everything from here, this, this might as well be an ad. People, when they do blush, they just put it right here, but I like to drive it out so it doesn't look like two circles. I think it looks clowny when people do that. So now we have her blush done. We're gonna do a highlight. This is a two-step highlight. We're gonna be using the Cover FX Highlight Drops, the Custom Enhancer Drops. That one's is actually crazy. What they're called? So this shade is, I think, Moon. Oh, Cestel. Cestel. This is our primer in the highlight world. 
So I'm just gonna throw it on my finger. Yeah, these get a little crazy. Like, you guys don't know what's in store with these. Like, these get wild. So now we're gonna take the bead blender again. Just gonna make it a little bit, you know? Get a little highlight going. Dabbing motion is key with the beauty blender. It works the best. Drag if you need a new product, but other than that, dab. Dab, 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 dab. Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> dab, 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 dab. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna add a little more just because I'm trying to. We're trying to highlight to the gods. We're trying to blind some people in the streets today. Yeah, cause a couple of accidents. Okay, so guys, if you are a subtle highlight person, this is not the highlight for you. This is just the beginning of it too. Okay. She likes when highlight shines like a diamond. Like I'm trying to cut you with so, my highlight. I'm yeah. to, like I'm trying to like <laughs> cut you with a highlight. Like when I highlight, I mean business. I'm not messing around. I'll do a matte face if I don't mean business. When I highlight, I'm coming for throats. You better watch yourself around me with a highlight on. Okay, that was step one, the highlighting. Step two, this is called a Luna. The shade is Cali Calypso. 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 So we're gonna be taking this brush. Hey guys, welcome. I, like every time I like see someone holding this, I think of like Jeffrey Stock because you know how he like starts his videos like that. Okay, so once again, we're back to highlighting to the gods. If we wanted to be really extra, we spray some Fix Plus on it, but we really don't need to do that. Like we've already done the most. Like if we just wanted to like be like a disco ball type extra. <laughs> and if your highlight ever gets too strong, all I have to do is. It, it'll like go away. Dabbing is the answer. Yeah, this type of dabbing. Okay, now to finish off this look, we're gonna throw a little lipstick. This is by Max Factor, very random brand. I just, I don't know where I found this lipstick. I just thought it was kind of pretty and bought it. You gotta take a few risks in life. <laughs> so the key is to slight, like, color on the lip line but not like over the top. Now I bring lips together. Like it's a little shinier than I thought it was gonna be, but mm. yeah. Oh yeah. How could we forget mascara? My girl's best friend. I didn't use this one. This is Mad Lash, also by the bomb. This is from Ipsy. So next what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing her lower lash line. Let's highlight her inner corners first. I'm going to use this highlighter. This highlighter, it's on the Morphe palette. I'm just going to pop it in the little pop. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be using the same color we're using on her transition, on her lower eyelashes open. I'm using an e.l.f. brush. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this brush. This is a one, it's by Lolita or Leah or something like that. It's from Ipsy. We're gonna be using this more aggressive color, Hunts. And we're gonna be putting it on her, the outside of her lower lash line. Now just to soften it, I'm just gonna go back with this one on the inner corners. Now her lower lash line is done. Now lower mascara. So now we have, look at me, so we make sure. We have completed our look. Flip your hair a little bit, show off your highlight. <laughs> And so this was it. That was our first ever makeup tutorial. Who wouldn't would have known that I would ever do that? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you got a few useful tips out of here. Yeah, I didn't know that, that the, the beauty blender is supposed to be wet. 
See? Oh my See? goodness. Are you serious? I'm dead. That's like the key to Beauty Blender. It's supposed to be wet and like damp. And that's what like makes it like retain things into your skin. Like that's nobody really knows that. That is very true. Watch any guru or any makeup person and they will wet their beauty blender. I promise you. You wet my beauty blender. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I see you. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to go wet Sammy's beauty blender. <laughs> see you next time. Subscribe, like, share. Thank you.